learning to be strong for Logan. I would say the first six months I was just a wreck. I just would cry all the time, having to hold him and make him cry. No, I don't, Mom, don't hold me, don't hold me, don't hold me. Oh, let's go. Maybe you're okay. Remember, this is to help you. Him knowing that I'm hurting him. You know, I know that I'm hurting him to keep him alive, to keep him healthy. He is looking at it as I, mommy's hurting me. For me, it was just learning to um, come to terms with, you know, this is going to be the lifestyle that we have, so we have to kind of make the best of it. And um, just trying to be as positive as we can for him, telling him, you know, we can still do, you can still do everything you want to do. It's just we have to do it this way because we need to make sure that you stay healthy. Logan, he doesn't remember not having diabetes. For him, it's normal. It's his lifestyle. For him, like the hardest thing for him to overcome, I think, would probably be the way that other people, you know, might view him. Can you eat that or you mm. can't do this? He's unbelievably strong. Oh yeah. It's it's amazing how strong, you know, when he was two, a two-year-old had to be and was, and now that he's four, it's just part of his life. And right. all right, you ready? Mm -hmm. You did it, look at me. Look at, you did it great. <laughs> it's it's not only the physically strong, but it's also the, you know, the emotionally strong. It's when we're changing a lancet and we poke ourselves, it's like, ow, that and hurts. It hurt. And he's gotta do that, you know, 10 times a day. You know, but we do that, you know, 10 times a day to check blood sugar and he just kind of sits just there like, and here, pulls his hand out and, and we do it. Just what he has to deal with every single day on a daily basis just right. to survive. Not even, you know, it's it's not even like he's trying to do something that's above and beyond or he's trying to do something like, you know, it's like, hey, I want to go out and be the next this or that or do this or that. It's This is what I have to do to survive. The pump was huge for us. Going from, you know, poking him, him being poked, you know, four times a day for 197 days to you change an insulin site once every two every to three days, day. it's huge. Not only that, but it also is a much more precise way of managing his diabetes. Um, the pump can give units of insulin in smaller increments than you can with even small half unit syringes. And the CGM too. You know, once once we were became aware of what that was and, and what that would do to help us, we immediately figured out, well, how can we get this? It's, it's saved his life six or seven times overnight. He's gone low and, you know, it'd be in between a time you wouldn't normally check him. And he's he's gone low and it's alarmed and it lets us know. And You know, we see little little things all the time that they're that they're testing, that they're coming out with, and that, that'll be down, down the road, you know, in his life. Um, that's going to just make it even easier for him. The huge thing right now people are starting to talk about, and that's the, the next big step, it's beta cells, basically, that insulin producing cells that they put in a device in people, they're saying five or ten years, where you won't have to worry about your diabetes anymore. I'm positive we'll find a cure. We just need to raise the funds to get the research done. JDRF does a wonderful job getting those funds into the right hands so that they can do the right things with it. And we just need to do our part and, and raise the funds right. and give so that we can turn, you know, type one diabetes into something people used to have. We need to end the struggle. We need to end the struggle with, with people having to go through this, with people having to check and monitor and, and keep track and- Always on your and, mind. And balance and always being on your mind. And, the financial struggle, the hundreds of dollars a month and thousands of dollars a year, and it's tough. You know, we had uh, we had two cars at one point. We had to get rid of a car because we couldn't afford two cars anymore, and now we're down to one, and we're down to the oldest one, which who knows how long that will last. It takes a big toll on your relationship because you're always so focused on your child and keeping them alive and what you're do you always have to so do? you're always so worried yeah it's you're worried you know if you worry his blood sugar's high his blood sugar's been high for two hours you know did i just how many minutes of his life take did two you hours just take off, off of his life just it needs to end the research is important but i think the funding is the most important 
We need the people to give so that we can continue the research so that we can find a cure.